All right, let's go for a little spin. How do you use your brakes and when? So, let's go around here. Generally, especially starting off, I'm gonna use very, very little brakes. I'm gonna roll into the corner, make sure I can see that the exit is open to me. This is tightening up, so we'll back off a little bit, and away we go. Now, it looks like it's gonna tighten up a little more. No, it opened up. As it opens up, you'll gain a little more momentum, a little more pace. So here, we're not sure, we can't see. We'll just keep the momentum steady. Okay, I can see through the trees. I'm gonna to touch the back brake just a hair, set the back of the bike. Still no brakes needed. Not sure here, so I'm gonna go ahead and downshift the gear and let the bike slow itself down. Open road, so now we can pick up another gear. Pick up a second gear. Come into the corners and just let the bike roll through. Again, looking through the trees, lots of open road ahead, so we'll just use it. There it is. Nice and easy rolling through the corners, beautiful. What a great section of road. Armco coming up, so I'm gonna use front and rear. I'm gonna downshift twice, just wait here. I'm gonna sit behind the car and we'll see if the car lets us go by or does not. Again, open road coming up. So we'll go down another gear and just sit here patiently and wait. Now going through the corners gives you time like this to look at where you're at, what you need to do, what's coming up, so you can prejudge where you need to be, especially as far as the road goes. So he's waving me by, so we'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. Looking through the corner again, now I can see the exit. I can roll on the throttle a little bit. Coming up to the next corner, some more Armco. Nah, I'm not gonna break, I can see the corner. I'm okay, still okay. Momentum and speed are fine. Now I'm going to downshift because I'm not sure about the exit, I can't see it. No brakes. Let's look at this one. Exit is open, so we'll keep momentum. Hold position. Sharp corner coming up, so we'll stay in this gear. Looking through the trees. Let the engine braking slow it down. Now it's clear, so we'll roll on. Gain another gear. Gain another gear. Put it into the corner. Set this up, drop a gear, engine braking is going to be enough. Now a little bit of open road into a sharper corner. I'm going to drop a gear before going in, keep the chassis stable. There it is. Road's open, we'll go up another gear, 25 mile on our corner. Nope, momentum and speed we have, don't need brakes. So we'll hold our line, keep the throttle on. And a flick back, looks open to me, it is. Hold our corner, hold our pace. Gain another gear, because this is opening up now. It's not quite so tight. And we'll go into top. Nice, steady, beautiful corner, easy to get through, predictable, can see through the trees. All right, let's drop it a gear little rear brake just a tad to get our entry speed where we wanted and away we go wide open now so back into top gear set ourselves up 35 mile an hour corner I can see so I'm not too worried down in the fifth let's hold our line back in the six another 35 mile an hour corner so we'll probably drop it into fifth Bump ahead, hmm. So let's cover the back brake. No, we're good on pace, we could have left it in sixth. Cruise through. Nice, little bit of road. Okay, I'm gonna drop two gears, use the rear brake, tap the front just a bit to drag it, lower the front so it'll steer. Back up a gear to fifth. Oh, look at that, leave it in fifth. We can see where we are. No brakes needed, just using engine braking. Back up to six. 
ride it into the corner slow I'm gonna leave it in six I'm not worried about it let's go through keep momentum throttle on so the bike is pushed into the ground with physics hold our line keep it in six no need nice open corner and that is the end of the twisty section so do you need a lot of engine braking not really. Can you be smart about what you're doing? Absolutely. Do you need to physically use a lot of brakes at that pace going through the twisties? Absolutely not. You do not under no circumstances. So enjoy the ride. Use your brakes with a purpose intent. And make sure when you use them you do it for a good reason, not because you suddenly react.